Hello everyone, this is a case of a recurrent mucinous cyst adenoma of the right ovary. Mucinous cyst adenoma is a type of an ovarian cyst that's filled with sticky fluid having gummy consistency, also called mucinous fluid in medical terms. Now the case history is that she is a 30 years old lady and she came to us with a report showing a big 8 to 10 cm size cyst in her right ovary and unfortunately this was a recurrence for the third time. Her main concern when she met us was fertility and occasional pain. Not so severe but yes it was causing discomfort in the lower as well as upper abdomen. Now her past history, laparoscopy for a 7 cm size cyst in the right ovary before 8 years. The cyst came back and she underwent an open procedure, laparotomy for the cyst of almost the same size in the same ovary before 3 years. But still the cyst came back. Now the surgical dilemma in this case was whether to remove the cyst only again or to remove the entire ovary with the cyst. It's based on whether the cyst is clear or mucinous. We subjected her to all the investigations including tumor markers to confirm the benign nature of the cyst and MRI also. But unfortunately, MRI does not tell us whether it's a simple or a mucinous cyst. We found and studied her previous reports and the histopathology of the last surgery suggested that it was a mucinous cyst. Now this correlated well with our clinical diagnosis of a mucinous cyst. Adenoma. We counsel the patient for the possibility of removing the entire ovary along with the cyst as mucinous cysts are notorious to come back, can grow to become very big sized and have a remote possibility of turning malignant. The surgical strategy for this case is to remove the right-sided ovary along with the cyst and the right fallopian tube. In medical terms, this procedure is known as right salpingoophrectomy. Now, this procedure is to be done without puncturing the cyst or without spilling the contents of the cyst inside the abdomen. Though removal of one ovary does not always warrant future IVF treatment for pregnancy, we still explain our patient about the possibility of the same. At the start of the surgery, we had to cut the additions or the abnormal bands of tissues between abdominal fat and the abdominal wall, fat being yellow in color. These additions were hanging like curtains and were preventing us from looking at the pelvis, so we had to cut them off. After doing this, we could see a big cyst in the right ovary and we are trying to assess whether it's adherent to the surrounding structures or the pelvic side walls. This is a small filmy addition. We are cutting it off. We are trying to lift the ovary with the cyst. And now we are trying to free the attachments of the ovary. We are releasing. These are normal attachments of the ovary. We are careful enough not to puncture the cyst or to spill the contents inside. Now this is the last attachment. And now the whole ovary with the cyst is free. Big cyst. Now we are introducing an endo bag inside. Because our plan is to place the cyst inside the bag. Without puncturing it means zero spill. Now we will retrieve this endo bag through the left sided uh, small cut on the abdomen and uh, we'll puncture the cyst outside the body and remove it through a small cut as you can see. At the end of the procedure, pelvis appears very neat and clean. the patient was discharged the next day. Thank you very much.